One. Oh, we're live. <laughs> ah, we what are live. Happened? Hello. Uh, welcome to episode 17 of the School Groove Gents podcast. A big 17. As big always, 17. I'm Chris Michael Vanny. As usual, I am Luke Davis. I forgot about that. Then. And it's your boy, Jamie Kay. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. Who else? Who else? What's happening? Now? <laughs> I feel very nervous that there's camera on us now. It's fine. Uh, this, if you're just listening to this podcast and you're not actually watching, uh, we are live on YouTube for the first time. We are. It's a bit weird. Is it strange because we can see ourselves? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that actually. Yeah. That's the last thing we'll look at. That's yeah, no. <laughs> it's just us three sat. Going. We appreciate those of you who are sat watching. I can't even speak. Those of you who are sat watching us though. Yeah. Um, um What's crack? What have you just been doing this week? No, I've had a little bit of work. Been to work twice. Twice. See, do you know like we had that month off a pod off the podcast? Yeah. We all. I also took a month off work with it. Oh, it was yeah. a so rough I just. Month, I just did nothing for a month. month. Yeah. I just. I just sat in the house and did a bit of acting, and then come back and sat in the house. But I was right. back at work. Enjoyed that. That's some good fun. Yeah. Yeah. I've been working flat. It's, it's been alright. Like it's Christmas, mate. It's Christmas. Yeah. I know, mate. It's, it's Christmas time. Mistletoe there is a reason to be afraid because there's fucking angry drunk people out who never go out and they're out for Christmas. Uh, I was actually, I meant to tell you about this. Um, so the place I work has like functions um, every, uh, like especially at Christmas. So I had this big Christmas party tonight for some gaming company. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, TT, I think they're called. TT? TT Games or something. I've never heard of him. Right. So when I first walked in, Google. they were setting up and stuff. And uh, I seen as well, as I walked in, they had this table filled with like you no know, fancy like Lego Harry Potter stuff, uh, like really expensive stuff. Yeah. Um, a PS4, uh, a Nintendo Switch, all these different things for a ballot they were doing. Right. Then I walked on around. They had uh, they had beer pong tables, so uh, they had a massive big bar tab, so they were able to get um tins of red stripe and play beer pong loads of people were playing oh, this proper that. class then you went round into the lounge and uh, they had plugged in arcade games so you had oh. Pac-Man Street Fighter uh, Taxi Driver I had to go on Taxi Driver like I was driving about you mean Crazy Taxi Um, yeah but uh, I don't know yeah the one where you just like driving yeah, taxi yeah but you're a taxi man like, pick yeah. up people yeah yeah, I crazy taxi. Loads, but it was really good. But um, the, yeah, and they had sp Space Invaders and, and Donkey Kong as well. Oh, with fish. all the sofas in the lounge with it, uh, proper lethal. And then we uh, downstairs they had a live band, but not to play songs. Bandy Oki. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. Uh, hey. For those of you who are listening and watching, I am a massive fan of Bandy Oki. They do it in Bandy two five six on a Monday night, and it is epic. The band who are in two five six, which is a, a pub, which is just down the road from where we live, um, they are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, they, they play oh, loads. Yeah. Of songs. It was, I think it was a different band, but like this band were fucking epic. But and they did it so well. Mm. Like what what happened was, so they'd start singing a song. Mm. Uh, I can't remember one of the songs they were singing. So they started singing this song and then sang the chorus and then kept playing. The band kept playing the verse, but the guy who was singing was like, and next we have Lee Dixon. Lee Dixon, come on down. Keep singing the song. Keep singing the song. <laughs> Lee Dixon comes on. Hugging, and here we are. Lee is going to sing Sweet Child of Mine. And then the, the drums will go, cha and then guitar. <laughs> it was it was like people were getting up involved in a performance. Like they were performing. And trust me, see the people who sang. They were so good. Really? Wow. Like really that, good. That's always a rough one, isn't it? If you're watching someone on karaoke or bandioke, that they get up and they yeah. shit. Yeah. And you got to sit there like, yeah, that was fantastic. You, brilliant. you got well to appreciate yeah. the effort, though. The little one we oh, go to. Always, always takes balls. Yeah, the little, one, clap everyone. little one we go to in Chinatown. Mm. That yeah. is because we always end up there at like three, four o'clock in the morning. So it's always been a long <laughs> night by the time we end up there. So everyone is amazing. You yeah. know what I mean? Everyone is brilliant. Well, they they're not. Oh, you just think <laughs> they're, they're amazing. Yeah. And I remember once I went and recorded Millie singing. It was for an improvisation we were doing for uni. And I uh, listened to it back in the morning and she was shit. So really? like, sat, stood there in the night. I was like, she is fucking brilliant. Look at this girl go, man. She is so good. Listen to it back in the morning. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> wow. Oh, that is no way. oh yeah. poor Millie. Yeah, yeah, beer goggles and beer hair hair nades. Exposing it. <laughs> Just exposed Millie live on stream. I know. Uh, Other than that, when she's sober, Millie is a really no, she good singer. Is, oh, yeah, for she my is. Birthday, she's actually, for oh, my she birthday. did Bandy Oki. Bandy Oki. And she sang Sweet Child of Mine. And Jesus, she blew everyone away. It was proper ridiculous. Proper so good. Oh, I remember like, I did um, Tenacious D. Oh, yeah. Tribute. Someone did that? Yeah. Someone did that? Did you do it with the band? Yeah. Oh, epic. That's so good. It was class. Yeah, that was really good. I actually remember that. Did you know that song? That's the way it goes. <laughs> that is, that's the In song. That case, no, I don't know. It's oh, Jack it's Black. Like Jack oh, Black no. and some other fella. No, I'm not a fan. No. Like I don't remember. Don't know. The Baldy fella. I know who you mean. I don't he's, know in, uh, he's in Shallow Hall with Jack Black, actually. Oh, yeah. He's uh, his, like work colleague. But yeah. you did that song. Yeah, I did. I did that song and it was class. I it was did amazing. fucking uh, Ring of Fire. Don't wow. know why. Like, that is what a terrible <laughs> it song. It was like that. Yeah, it was fucking awful. Oh, you did? You weren't that bad. I've heard you sing worse. Uh, fuck you. I, I thought I'd never sung worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I even see, shamed I, see, I seen that video where you were this wedding and that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, that wow. was below the bell. Wow. Like, <laughs> Proudest moment so far, <laughs> folks. Oh, I'm just joking. Nah, um, fucking, I picked because see, flicking through the book, and I, I'm a bass, so like when I sing, I'm really low, like, like really low, and I can't hit high notes. So I always try and pick, maybe lock them doors and turn the lights. Down. See, that's yeah. good, that's all right. Yeah, that's, good. that's all right. Next it's time, not great, but <laughs> um, so I can't pick like normal songs that like people sing because I can't hit the hit the notes it's kind of awkward yeah so i always try and pick like a low song maybe like a frank sinatra type of low yeah swoony voice summer wind or something like summer that. wind yeah that's a, yeah that's one of the choice Dang it. what a, and george ezra i always pick george ezra because he sings deep like get me on the you always at me i remember that night with joe when he was upstairs sleeping yeah. so joe's been on the podcast before joe before. martin mm-hmm. joe martin what a guy um Obviously plays guitar, and I can't really. I mean, I, no, I, I, can't. I mess you've about play with it. Like and, well. and one night, me and Chris come in steaming from a night out, and we sat downstairs on the sofa, and I'd learned Shotgun by George Ezra, and we just played it and played it and played it but until I got it right, and he was just singing it in the morning. Joe, Joe was like, fuck me, if I ever have to hear Shotgun, Shotgun. by George Ezra one more time, he was like, fuck me, I just killed it last night. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Killed Should we go us. back on this and see how many people are watching and whether they want to ask us some questions? If anybody is watching, actually. Yeah. No. Two? Two. Two is people that us? watching. Somebody's liked it. I feel like they're two of my friends, to be honest. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've... So, um, if any of you want to ask us any questions, feel free to do so. It's the first time we've done this, and I'm freaking out. Don't freak out. It's I know. Fine. I'm an actor. Well, I spend most seems... of my life, but it's never live. You know, you slip what up. Do you mean? It's it'll never all live. Be, it'll be all right. Any time you do a stage show is live. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm so I'm following a the script. Then I'm left out the moment to say what the fuck I want, and there's no editing process. I'll say whatever you so want. So sometimes after a podcast, there's, we have to go through and just give a little sniff, don't we? Just, and just say, "Well, just cut that out." Express yourself. Well, that's because you are just to watch your language speaking of expressing ourselves mm. you'll notice i'm not naked put clothes on for this one otherwise it'd never get past the and senses the, but for those listening he's still naked don't yeah, worry yeah it's use your imagination <laughs> and for those of oh, you who no. have just tuned in at this point it's because usually in every podcast jamie insists on being set was saying he's naked he's not naked he's, he's not yes i am naked never naked always naked um but he's he's scrubbed up today in his first jammies. <laughs> oh, you he's got, you he's got a really, jumper on, mate. That's really tell that I was wearing jammies. Sorry, 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 <laughs> you can only tell from the bottom half. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> Stop <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Awful. Here, yeah. I went to see Ragged Ralph last night. Oh, I was up. Fucking really good. It's like so. Ragged Ralph. It's this guy who's like the bad guy in an old arcade game. Yeah. And he like goes into like you know like fucking extension lead for a plug okay yeah. right so they all live in there at when when the arcade's closed so no one's playing the game so they're free to like run about okay right well this is what happens i'm, I'm just issue? i'm just saying you are terrible at explaining this I think <laughs> this is the worst blurb for this story That's exactly in the goddamn what it universe. Is. no but Can- you're describing too many like specific things that don't matter at all 
So they live in the plug and they play games when the games are off. There you go. No, they don't play the games. Even. Yeah, no, they, they don't play they them. They, they just the live. It's just Toy Story like. They just have their Toy own Story lives. Games, right? They're not being played. Forget about it. Uh, break, uh, fucking... Wreck it, <laughs> wreck Ralph. 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 Wreck it. I'm gonna wreck it. Uh, wreck it, Ralph, too. He goes into the internet and he's in eBay and he's in uh, YouTube and all. But we're good, like. And he breaks the internet, literally. And But, like, no way, like, really popular things like on youtube like trans and stuff he becomes trans like it's ragged ralph's face on like a goat it's like ah! like making funny noise it's really good oh. you, I, I feel like it's one of them you have to be there yeah maybe uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but it's it's good non fucking last have yeah. you watched any movies lately no yeah i'm shit with movies aren't i all the time we'll be watching movies are epic we'll be watching things and there'll be a really there'll be like leonardo dicaprio in something and i'll be Saying to Chris, so who's he? Who's that? <laughs> what do you mean? Who's that? <laughs> Maybe I'm not that bad, but there's right, some not really... real, but there's some mental ones you're saying. Who's that? I'm like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off now. No, he would know Jack Nicholson. He loves yeah. the guy. He's right up my street. Right up my street. Yeah. Um, we went on a bit of a film watching spree the other night, didn't we? Shit, we did. We watched Die Hard. Die Hard, my first time. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, so first Never time. seen either of those films. Right, Die Whoa, Hard. Oh, they are actually both. Yeah, Flan good, like. Dozy. Um Nightmare Plus. Before Christmas was a bit mental. Um because uh Apparently you can watch it any time between Halloween and Christmas. Did Eve. you hear that from Jamie? Because he told me the same. Oh no, I don't think I did. I feel like someone really? else. It's just a general consensus. Of oh, yeah, it is. Know. It's like a thing. Oh right. It's fine. not it's not so much a joke. Um, yeah, it's a Halloween film and a Christmas film. Yeah, fair. Um, but hey, uh what's it called? Um yeah, fucking die hard. There's like an argument that it might be uh Christmas film or not, whether nah. or not it's a Christmas film. It is a Christmas film, but it's not the best Christmas film. Yeah, like, a I... lot of people say it's the best Christmas film just because, like, aha, Die Hard's kind of a Christmas film, technically. So it's the it's my favourite yeah, one. It's that's the best. why they do it. Like... Exactly, but that's pointless. It's just stupid. But it is yeah, a, but Christmas still a Christmas film. film. But, like, yes. people argue it's not a Christmas film. That's but what it, I'm saying. It is. Yeah, but, but you're it's not a very good that. Christmas film. That's it's a very, very good film. It's not a Christmassy Christmas film. No, but there's bits of Christmas in there. It's a film at Christmas. And there's like bells in the soundtrack and stuff. Yeah, and it it's all really very good, you know? like it's loads of stuff gets set up yeah, it was like for a big tiny, payoff at the end, like Home Alone for adults. Yeah. Okay, I've never seen Home Alone either. Oh, you f- I know. Drive me insane oh, sometimes. No. Have you seen Elf? Yes, I've seen Elf. What are you saying? Like, of course I've seen Elf. <laughs> you haven't not, seen Home not Alone. A monster. <laughs> you are. I haven't seen. Oh, uh, you fucking Kevin. Like, we. Kevin, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Kevin. I mean, <laughs> what would you forget him? Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, what I, I know. I but, gathered. I've never seen it, but I can still quote it. Harry, I've reached the top. That I know. Yeah. See, because they're funny. The context, I know that, it'd be hilarious. Would be fucking the best comedy ever. I know. Oh, I love Home Alone so much. It's so good. I watched it once in fucking in Magaluf in August. Oh shit! Yeah, Home Alone. Why? Which is in a one-man play that Chris is writing, for those of you who are interested, and will be coming to theatres near you, if you're in Manchester. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, or Belfast or London, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Direct so, up in the air. It's, up in the air. It's up in the air. Direct the Luke Davis. Oh, yes, sir. Over it. And I'm looking forward. Yeah. We've, had, we've had a few little things, but tonight we've sort of yeah, sat we down have. together and it's gone really well. I feel like it we're is good. It's what I need. I need another pair of eyes on it. Because I... He needs a proper writer involved. It's exactly. No, but that's true. But like, I'm not a writer. Um and so when I sat down to start writing it, like I, I didn't know what way I was gonna do it. I knew I was gonna do one man play because like I know more one man Because he selfishly wouldn't write things for anyone else. Well, he you always says to me, Why'd you never write me into your stuff? I'm like, you shit actor. <laughs> but besides that, you never write me into anything else. <laughs> I'm I'm all right, I think. Yeah, you are. Um but yeah, I'm writing for myself because fuck you, you are better than me, so I might as well make my own work. I'm saying nothing. Mm-hmm. I think we're all very, very good. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We're like the devil and the angel on your shoulder, aren't we? Yeah. You ain't got to pick which one. Who's who? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of swaps <laughs> every now and again. It yeah. It turns. You never know who it is. I think you're both just a bit grey. Yeah. A bit grey. No, gray. I want to be uh, on the spectrum. Let's be on the spectrum. Yeah. For right, angel we'll... and devil. Yes, we will. That's exactly. Angel and devil Probably. spectrum. What about this week? Anything in the news that's got you back up? This week, tell you what didn't get my back up, but it was actually a lovely wee story I watched, and you watched with me. Sorry, excuse me. Um, Heathrow Airport, United Airlines. Oh yeah. Flew all these kids and like, like some of them are like disabled kids and stuff. 
So he brought them on. It on was Bernardo's. That Bernardo's, yeah. Oh. And uh, they did a flight to the North Pole, but like, obviously they didn't fly to the North Pole. They like did a lap of Heathrow. Because the North Pole doesn't exist. Well, it does, but it not does, what but... he's going on about. Yeah, spoilers no. by the way. <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, so they, uh, but all these kids, like, oh my god, they're so excited. How excited were they? Oh, I know. It, it was, probably it was made me. Oh fuck! I was crying on <laughs> I. That's what I said. I was like, as I'm getting older, I'm so emotional about everything. I've watched Love Actually a million times, and Emma Thompson sitting there listening to that song, crying, trying to dry her tears, and she's like, oh fuck, it breaks my heart. <laughs> Listening to Joni Mitchell and should have got the fucking necklace. <laughs> You've seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen them, actually? Yeah. Okay, good. Actually? Yeah, well, I, it was one of those films that I think one Christmas, um, my family all sat down and my mum and my sister were like, right, we're going to watch Love Actually. And my dad was like, I'm out. Uh, I'm gone. And wasn't How did you deal with the sex scenes in it? Just watch them like fucking oh, sexy. Oh, well. We, do you I know what? We act. have a story. So one time me and my family, we were on holiday and we were wandering around Newcastle. Or, no, it wasn't Newcastle. I think it was York. Because they got a big wall around the city. It's York. Like an old, yeah, York. So we were wandering around the edge of the wall. And we look up and there's two people having sex Ooh. right next to the road, just up on the wall. And we were all like, oh, bastards. right. We'll listen to and, them. And walked on. This is literally as we could. So we called for a little cheeky Mackies the other day um, after uni. And mm-hmm. Alicia goes to the toilet. So we went and hid off her, didn't we, outside? Like yeah. a pair of knobheads. Um, and she comes out all red faced, and we could sort of see her from where we were hiding. She tried bringing me, and then she spotted us. Comes over, and then I was with you. She was like, I've just heard two people having sex in the cubicle next to me. So I was like, What? So she was like, I, <clears throat> I was in there, and I just heard giggling oh. and thought nothing of it. Giggling. And then, like, and then I just <laughs> heard <laughs> to, what Alicia, <laughs> to what Alicia described as sex noises. So leave that to the imagination. But, um, oh, fuck. Oh, but um, yeah, so I've been, I thought, that I me you. once. In uh, what you had sex in the egg, no, uh, like call people. So, what happened was, um, we uh, we were in the egg because we were going to the bot. What's the egg? Oh, shit. what are you on about? The egg and the bot are two bars in Belfast facing each other, right? Okay, right, kind of rival bars, right? And my mate, uh, what fell first, the egg or the bot? Oh, don't know, I actually don't know. That's (laughs) cool. Um, my mate Phil works with the bot like really high up. Like, it's, I think it's family. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Fixing the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in the tea and bob. Uh, but yeah, and he was in the egg with us. Right? What the fuck? He was like, heads down, that's heads down. I'm not going for a fag or nothing because he, he, if he got seen in the egg, like, it'd be bad. I've just added him here. <laughs> he was in the egg. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, so we were in the egg and Phil went into the toilets and was like, Lads, we, what the fuck? We need to get out of here. I was like, why? He was like, no, a couple that were sitting behind us, an American couple, right? Sitting behind us, we were eating wings. It was like 20 wings for a tenner or whatever. Maybe less. Um, stop promoting, tell your story. Oh, I can't stop. The bot's <laughs> Egg, it was the egg. Oh, right. So what happened How was, embarrassing. There was, uh, I went in for, I had to look, see what was happening. Went in, and like, there was no shame about it. Like, her hands were up, holding on to the fucking cubicle door. You no, know, like, behind her. And they were like, boom, 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 boom. She was like, oh, oh. I was like, what the fuck? Proper couldn't believe it. I was like, I just, he's never going to come out and get me. So I was like, give her one for me, my car. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what my car is, but it's American. Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah. oh, n- never tell anyone, I just listen. He means my friend. He means my friend. Uh, yeah, fuck me. Uh, mental. Imagine shagging in a bar or well, McDonald's. Yeah, Mackey's. That's a rough one. A Maybe they just got no budget shag. Go. Yeah, but I mean, there's other places rather than Mackie's toilet. Do you know what I mean? Go somewhere with a disabled toilet, a bit more space, a bit more privacy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Upgrade. You've got to be sweet. careful, though, because you don't want to accidentally pull the assist. <laughs> oh, and pull yeah. the cord. Someone comes rushing there, in. There, <laughs> there, there, there. And you're like, getting your hole. <laughs> hands behind your head. Sex there. alert. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's new, oh. a new level of danger one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be such a game. <laughs> so you finish his first pull the cord. <laughs> Jesus. Oh I hope no one I hope my mum doesn't see this. I think, oh, I'll give this one a watch. No way, just oh fuck. I thought you meant give this a go. <laughs> no, like, fuck. no, stop it. Jesus wet man, bit of respect. And what are you talking about? She's not <laughs> Irish. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I wasn't trying to say anything. You said it, <laughs> not me. Oh. 
<coughs> it's gone south already. It's gone to shit, this. Ah, I sure. don't know. <laughs> I think we're making our way through just know. fine. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Can I have that little bit? Yeah, mate. Are you... F- yeah, um, should no. we? I'm just going to check, see if we've you got anybody. If we've accumulated any more viewers. Should... Oh, we do. Who? We've got three now. We've got three. Are you watching as well? Who's? Yeah. Oh, I'm not is... watching. So ask us some questions. We've got a little thing at the side here that says that you can speak to us. Leave it up now. I'm comfortable with seeing it. Oh, oh okay. I've warmed into it. But yeah, there's a little thing here at the side of our screen that says you can ask us questions. So ask us some stuff. Do something else. Like good ones. Yeah, like, good like ones. Good, not like, oh, give me a like shout out, question. say hi to me. Yeah, like what's the meaning of life? The size of them ears in this hat. Jeez, uh, I don't think it's the hat. Where are... <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> oh, are they taking me? Jesus. You're the page. Not your come. <laughs> They're doing a... <laughs> Really <laughs> I was gonna say, can I not say that shit? Like you can't, like, but like, fuck, he'd be rage. Okay, joking, but I'll talk about that. Thing. He wouldn't, he won't pick up on it. But I love you, Dad. <laughs> oh, so shit. he loves this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, Dumbo's come back in 2019, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Remake played by Luke Davis. Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, Luke Charles. Luke Charles. It's Luke oh, Charles. I've got a stage name. Stage name. Which is a horrible thing it's when when fun. working in acting. I found it really hard at the moment because obviously yeah. we've been doing filming over at the Manchester Film School. And any emails that I've sent or as I've been, a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> that I've sent have been that under Luke bad. Charles. So that's what I've been sort of greeted as and spoken. And I mean, sh- people, uh, Luke Charles, and you just sort of like. Oh, it's me. Have you had many auditions? <laughs> no, I mean, when we were talking the other day to oh, Richard yeah. and he was like, so you're Luke oh, Charles. Oh, did he get told you? Well, she, yeah, my headshot and I'd emailed him from the Luke Charles account. Yeah. She sent, she sent all of ours. Did she? she? I don't know. Yeah. Um, I didn't know. Sorry. But yeah. So yeah, Luke Charles. And I was like, yeah, shit, I am. Yeah. 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 Did you forget? You do. See, I don't know if I could do with a Steve's name. Like, It's not nice. Chris I feel like you. I feel like I'm acting while I'm acting. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean, like me? Oh, you don't feel like you? Yeah. One doesn't feel like one. Mm. Well, you can have Luke Charles, the actor, and then you can have Luke Dunk Davis. Dunk writer, is not my middle director. name. That's a, it's a nickname. No, but yeah, it's a nickname. You don't have a middle it's name. Like a, I don't have a middle well, name. Well, there you go. There you go. You may as well be Dunk. There we go. I look very flush. Dunk. You do. Like, uh, got rosy little red cheeks. You look like really, you're in a fairy tale. And I'm really shiny. This oh is going to be shit for the people who are listening. I'm like an elf. If you're listening, uh, we all look very handsome. Yeah. Just imagine that. Just imagine us three looking very, very handsome. One person's like this already. You're too kind. I don't know if you are, but thank you. Out of the three of you, one of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the three. You're a bit stingy. Um, Definitely worth a like. It probably is us, you know. Yeah. I probably. bet it is. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, have you seen anything in the news lately, Jamie? Have I seen anything in the news? Well, you're always on like Twitter and Reddit. You're always doing. Um, yeah, you're always... there was a story that came out today. Uh, I I think I started to tell you guys this story before, but I don't can think I, I got through it. Can I get rid of us? Um, on that? Yeah, I kind of want to keep it. You've been out very. <laughs> yeah. um, so Donald Trump uh, started this new policy where. So, you, you know, we were talking a little while ago about these kids that they're keeping in camps, like oh, the immigrant yeah. kids that are coming over and taking them away from the families and all that. And what the Trump administration has started doing is saying, like, oh, we need, um, if if you're an immigrant, if you come into the country and you have a stable home environment, we need you to start taking these kids in because they need to start getting proper care. So everyone went, okay, that sounds like an all right thing. So these people were going in to try and like adopt these kids and take care of them and got arrested and like are being deported. Fuck. Like apparently 170 people have been caught with this way. Like they're, they're inviting them in on the basis of something else. Fuck. So they come in and get arrested on the door. So you'd be yeah. melted, wouldn't you? Just, yeah, uh, ridiculous. Uh, did you do it this way? <sighs> yeah. You burped this way? Yeah. Even though we're there? Hey, I, was, I was talking. We've lost a viewer. There we go. Because of the burp. Sorry, <laughs> a poor etiquette. I do apologize. I'd love to know who you two are. Thank you. It's got to it. might be us and the thousands watching around the world. Mm. And those, those of yeah. you in the future, yeah. hello, 2024. And those and awesome. kids. 2020, yeah, listen to this. This is where you shouldn't behave when you're older. If you do anything like we did in uni in your life, you'll you get a, sit in your room and do a podcast. You get a smack bottom. <laughs> 
I just realised how weird this looks behind us as well. That is soundproofing, so you can hear us better when you're listening on the... I wish the wall was covered in soundproofing. Yeah, the whole wall. Yeah. See, this that wall, would be nice. the wall behind you, behind, not behind you, but behind the camera, is a little bit better. It's got a lot of soundproofing on, to be fair. <laughs> you were like, behind you. Imagine if you were like... <laughs> <laughs> like okay, well, they do soundproofing my room. Soundproofing my room. Don't need that. That's the thing, when your mum, you were on the phone with your mum when we were putting this oh, up. Oh, yeah. We were putting the soundproofing up. She was like, she was like, what are you doing? What you, I can't do it. Do your mum. What are you doing? <laughs> your mum's so funny. She's <laughs> such a legend. She's uh, class, man. And then uh, he was like, oh, we're just putting up some soundproofing in, in Chris's room. And then she said, what are you doing that for? Yeah, he's not going to need that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? No, it was someone else before that that proper made us laugh. And then she was like, well, he's not going to be needing that, is he? And I was like, certainly not, no. Obviously, it doesn't. Don't worry. I just make podcasts. That's all I do. And, and considering does... you've not done it for like a month. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just for nothing. Yeah. Rough. Rough times. Just been a guy who used to do a podcast for a month. So we use. <laughs> I have all that things. <laughs> oh, that was vaguely threatening. Jeez. Yeah, that was Jesus. Really Freak me the fuck out. Can't Get out one more time. I'm out of here. <laughs> You're going to sleep on the sofa. Get in the street. Who are you walking out the door with? Jerry. There we go. <laughs> How's it going? Well done. A little sparkle on my teeth. Good work. That's another thing I got talking about a conversation. So, in our jingle, our SGG jingle, if you listen on. Anchor, I think now, because everyone else has took it off. I don't know why. We're no, we're on Spotify. Well, and Spotify, it's back on Spotify now, oh, is it? Took it off for a I know we are, but the jingle wasn't. You've got a request, yeah, Chris. Outrageous. I have a request. Why are you reading <laughs> it? <laughs> oh, Kieran, <laughs> well, Kieran McCord's got in touch, which is always good. Uh, <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh. Um, yeah, um, oh, we just said we weren't going to do shout outs. I know, so but like, all just did a shout me, out. He's telling me to tell a joke, but like, I can't tell the joke because it's a podcast. Yes, you can. You can. No, but it's a, it's a physical po- It's a physical joke. You're wrong camera. Yeah, I what get about that. those three people that are watching, mate? I feel bad. Right? And all Move. the hundreds that'll be watching. Jesus, hang on. I need, let me get my feet I need out. a lot of space. This is going. Oh, oh my God. Right, we're going to. We're going to back off over here. Oh, we're gonna talk no, sorry. Jesus. I need this. Sorry, sorry. Oh, here we go. Okay, just right. wants us out with shot. Sorry. No, no, you're okay. Oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in over here. All right. What? So there's, uh, there's these three fellas, right? And all three of them have uh, walking disabilities. <laughs> I'm out of the gym. Right. 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 So um, they all live in a uh, like a car home and blah blah blah. So one of them walks like this. His feet's really quick. And then the other one walks like this, and like he's tiptoeing big strides. Yeah. Then the other one like walks sideways, shuffling his feet. Yeah. So um, <laughs> so they're in this, they're in their car home, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, here we are. we need to get out of here. We we deserve a holiday, lads. Let's go to Magaluf, right? Right, fucking hundred percent. So they book it, go to Magaluf, fucking have the best time. Get there, get off the flight, hundred percent. Throw the bags in the hotel, straight down to the beach. Like, happy days, they're laying there, time of their lives. And they see in, in the water, there's these good looking girls, three good looking girls, like, fellas, fellas, come on and join us in, in the water. Like, fuck, there, lads, we can't go over there. Well, they'll, they'll see us walk over us and we can't have that. Because they've like, got walking disability. Walk, yeah, yes. and they're embarrassed. This was established earlier. So um, the first one goes, all right, lads, follow my lead. Jesus Christ, that sounds fucking roasting. Oh, fuck, here, you're not wrong. <laughs> Lads, you're making a queer mess that fucking sound. <laughs> That's his Sorry. joke. That's it. End of end of joke. Very good work. Yeah. Cheers. So thank you for that. Anyone? Any more jokes? Kieran was laughing already. There. Kieran he's, glad he's, he's, yeah. He's, 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 oh my god! We have four viewers. Nice. Thank Useless you. for the people who are listening. You're listening. Yeah, I know you are so, going to hate uh, this. Yeah, yeah but you got to understand. <laughs> It's no live podcast time. Um, tell that joke, please, um, about Timbuktu. Yes. <laughs> that is a good one. Right. <laughs> well, that's what I just did. I tell you, I have to stand up. I was like, I'm going to fucking do this oh, now. Fuck. Yeah. It's going to be harder around the best, you know? Uh, all right. So there's this big poetry competition. It's in the Royal Albert Hall. Fucking huge. Big deal. Massive deal. And the final. What? I'm just The final. Away. It was the final, right? Final two. And it was this uh, Jewish guy and an Irish guy. 
So they go into the hut and they're like, okay, your subject is Timbuktu. Like, oh, okay, okay. The Jewish guy goes first and he goes, um, oh, fuck, what does he say? Um, I've lived a good life throughout my days. I've had a lovely wife through most of those days. I've read the good book through and through, all the way to Timbuktu. So the crowd goes, well, yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well done. Irish fella comes on. <clears throat> Me and Tim were in a tent. Two girls walk in, they were having scent. <laughs> I really can't remember this. Oh, oh, that was a punchline. He's so he close. Well. Nah. But he booked one and Tim booked two. He booked one and Tim booked two. Yeah. All that. that work. I know for nothing. Well, don't tell me for to tell jokes shit. Like I can't remember. For shit. For shit. Absolutely bro. rubbish. What a, what a waste of time. But anyway, what the fuck have you just been at? Have you not read any news? What? You mean we've been talking about Tim booking two? <laughs> he did book two. <laughs> he did? Tim is a guy. He did. Him. Have you heard something else as well about that Eddie? Who's Eddie? Uh, what's his name? Eddie. Um... God, what's he in? It begins. With, it begins with an I or something. Eddie is odd. Is he? You know that. All right. I, I have no idea. Who the fuck, Eddie was. <laughs> hey, what about Eddie? Is our fucking running unlimited marathons? Every fucking yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, dude's crazy. He did, like, dude's mental. Pretty sure he did like 50 marathons in like 51 days. Shit. Yeah, proper 51 mental. days. What a lightweight. I oh, know, I'm taking a day off. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> Some next day of rest. He didn't. He didn't rest. <sighs> um, What What did you do tonight? What did I do tonight? Yeah. Don't ask me shit questions. I've done nothing tonight. I sat and watched The Royal Family, which if you haven't seen The Royal Family... You need to watch the royal family. Royal family is good. I like it's it. It's like like Chris when I first I was surprised when I first met Chris that I'd said to him, Oh, have you seen the royal family? And he was like, No, not really. And I was like, Why? He was like, I'm Irish. Which is his answer for most things that he hasn't done. It works. It does. Um <laughs> and anything with the word the royal family, and he's like, No, down with the monarchy. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> here we go again. Get outside Buckingham Palace, you crazy bastard. Chain to the fence. Um but yeah, so I said to him, Guy Fox, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got, joke, I watch oh, it. Shit. Um, it. I was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sit down and watch this. So I made him mm. sit down and watch the Royal family. And it, it, for me as an actor and a writer, a director, um, <laughs> um, it is a masterclass in how to do it really. Yeah, in how really to do good. all like, three of those things. Cause it is absolutely fantastic. And there's a, uh, an episode called the queen of Sheba. Yeah, which we said that last week, I think. Yeah, did, 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 yeah, was it last week? Well, I recommended yeah. it to a friend well, last... today because it is seriously the best yeah, it's piece of TV that I've ever seen. It, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely but, um, fantastic. Yeah, so I sat down and watched loads of that. Like I said last week as well, mm. I'm trying to write a, a, a series at the moment. So I was just trying to sort of get into that mindset yeah. of writing comedy because that's not easy. No, it's not. Yeah. You're watching like behind the scenes. I like behind the scenes things. Um, yeah. But I'd love to see what people are actually like. See, after filming, like we were filming on Monday, mm. and we were doing the same scene over and over again, so they <laughs> get all the same, the all different angles. So frustrating and blah blah blah. But like, then you think of like those method actors, like Daniel Day Lewis. How many takes does he do, and how can he stay in character for all them takes? Well, that he makes he no just sense. does method acting all the time. Yeah, but that's what I mean. So how does it make sense if he's like um, doing a scene? Then they're like, cut, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, listen, I think you should say this line that way, and blah, 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 and go. And he has to do the same thing again. That, that makes no sense if he's in character. It's just, just a of acting. Yeah. Easier. Yeah, well, I agree. Absolutely. That's how I try and do it. Like. What well, act? Yeah. It's... <laughs> I, think, I think very occasionally in our lives, we've all done that. I think all three of us have all tried acting at yeah. some point, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe. Everyone's Maybe. an actor. <clears throat> yeah, but like they we actually lie. do acting. Yeah, 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 we are. Actors. That's We're actually like... what our jobs are hoping to be. I know yeah. I want stables that. Talking about stable jobs, Theresa May. Strong She's man, stable. It. What? Strong neither strong stable. nor stable. Neither strong nor stable, no. 
Yeah, but just a minute, I've seen a tweet before that was like, um, oh, I'm really, really looking forward to the season finale of the UK. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, how right are you? It's proper, man, but I don't even know what's happening anymore. Like, so th- th- what they're nah, saying... Like, you're for- going home by the looks of it. You'll be deported. You'll be on the first boat back. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the matter? But, but I'm a UK citizen. But I'm, I- I'm glad we've got this on the record. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, I... I'm a UK citizen because I was born technically in the UK, but I'm an I I'm an Irish citizen because I'm an Irish passport. So you I, dual citizenship. Got to give one back. I can do whatever I want. You have to give one back, which would it be? Uh, well, I have I'd, to be the I'd UK. Keep the Irish passport. Yeah. User, get rid of the UK. It's a sinking ship. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'll get off yeah. if I needed to. Yeah. I know. Look at that. I hope fucking, I don't have to. Look at that fucking captain. I know. Yeah. What a disaster. So who's going to be the next prime minister? It's going to be Boris Johnson. I think oh, Jeremy Corbyn going to pull it Idris out. Idris Elba should get it. Like, I know they've yeah. never, like, never had a black James Bond, but maybe a black prime minister. Would that be, could be good. Be a fucking saying, start, wouldn't it? Have they ever had a black prime minister? No. no. Never have. Of, of any minority? Has it always been, like, no. white British? Always, always white British. British. Ooh, always. I know. And yeah. it doesn't seem signs of turning, like... Oh, no, it doesn't. All MMTs? Is really. it MMTs? <laughs> MP. Different oh, kettle of fish, oh, my oh, friend. Oh, jeez, don't get me started. <laughs> oh. MPs, all MMPs are white British. You like that one? Uh, oh, careful. He's Coughing up a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. Right. Back. All right. Well, the um, yeah, there's only been two women. Oh, yeah, fair. Look at the job both of them have done. Yeah, but no presidency. Disrespect to women. No disrespect to women. Pres- presidency. <clears throat> um, like US presidency, there's never been a woman. One black guy. Yeah. Because they're learning from our mistakes. Who? Hey. The Americans. Oh, Every time right. we've let a woman in power, she's nearly tore the bastard place apart. <laughs> I mean, like I say, it's no disrespect at all. What's no, disrespect to Theresa May. Like, she's useless. Yeah, she's a bit of a prick of Margaret Thatcher Well, we all know where we stand there. But let's not get into that. No. We watched a, a, a good video today, didn't we? Did we? Well, I did, and you listened to it and laughed. Um, and yeah, I feel like you really like it. That guy, you said he does loads of them. I didn't. Yeah, get to get his name. the guy. So he like he like pretends as if he start. I don't know if he pretends or he actually is like a journalist type guy. But it, it's like he's starting a, a correspondence from somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Some a yeah. report from somewhere, and he's talking about something, and then he's like, "Actually, hold on," and like he, he starts giving his opinion on <laughs> that thing that he's reporting on. It's really good. And he, he's really honest, and it's, it was really good. What was it about? Can't even remember. Um, it was about us. I say us. I, yeah, I do mean us. Our generation being a group of moaners, like moaning about everything and how yeah, it's the slight, like everything is racist and everything is, and you all like everyone's looking to be offended. Everyone's seeking offence from anything that's done. And you, you made a big point about Google taking the uh, egg out of the salad emoji yeah. in case it offended vegans. Well, what did you think about that uh, that H and M controversy? Oh, the, the, the monkey coolest one. monkey in the jungle. And I put this hoodie on a black kid. I think somebody should have thought about it in the first place, but I don't I actually see a problem so many with it. Yeah. Well, sorry, say that again. H&M ran an advert uh, with a black kid as a model wearing a jumper, a hoodie that said coolest monkey in the jungle. Oh. But see, look, you're almost offended. No, I'm not offended. I'm saying, oh, give over. Because if they never, if they gave every white kid a hoodie and never gave him one, it'd be like, why are you being racist? You're <laughs> a hoodie on. You know what I mean? <laughs> it would be bastard phrasing. It, it would be exactly that, wouldn't it? it? It would be. It'd be like, oh, well, why has he got to have a different one? Because he's why are you singling him out? Well, no, if we gave him the fucking one that every other kid had on, you'd be calling me a racist as well. The issue was, it was so it was two kids, a black kid and a white kid. So it was a modeling job. It was a modeling job. Right, but if they never gave the black kid the job because of what the jumper said, they'd be racist for not giving him no, the job. No, 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 but hold on. So the white kid's wearing a different jumper. Right. Like a, with a fucking lion on it or something, but it doesn't yeah. say who's the coolest lion in the jungle or anything like that. Just yeah. It's just like a different animal. But this is the thing, if they would have just swapped those hoodies, it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah, but then the reason that they'd have thought, I've got to swap those hoodies, would have been a sort of a prejudice or racist thought. Do you know what I mean? The fact that, exactly. oh, I can't give a it's black kid that hoodie. To think so it's racist. it's not none of it's racist. No one's actively doing something to offend another or harm but, another but person. I'm you know saying I mean? getting offended, like thinking that that's racist, 
is racist. Yeah, exactly. So you know someone I mean? has the one thought. that's racist. Someone hasn't thought because they weren't trying to offend anyone by doing it. They weren't trying to hurt this. They didn't or, think it would or cause to single this child out. No, so they didn't think there wasn't a thought process there that went through that. And you know that is surprising, not because of that, but because of the age we're in, and you got to fucking second guess everything. I mean, yeah. we do a podcast with about five people a week, and we've even got to fucking think about what we say. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Thank you for watching as well. Um, but, um, for well, Kevin five, Hart, yeah. Kevin Hart, right? He got hired as the Oscars host. And then, like two days later, had quit because of all controversy with stuff that he had tweeted, and it was homophobic. Right? Mm, yeah, I saw something. And about it was that. like it was like tweets from ages ago, and he was like saying how he doesn't want his kid to be gay, and that would be the worst thing ever. And blah, right, blah. but then you've got to understand as well that's different. That, but like you said, then it's from ages ago, and I'm just taking that point. Nothing to do, like. Yeah, why yeah. would it be the worst thing in the world if your kid's gay? I mean, your kid's your kid, and you love them regardless. Um. But people like there was uh, a book. What was the book called? <laughs> From the Bible. Bible. <laughs> Straight to it, Catholics for you. Um, see that? Now I didn't think about nothing, but I'd be called all sorts if I was a face in the media. If someone's watching this, if I wasn't call, Catholic, you can do it. Precisely, yeah. Make no sense either. Uh, what was the book? I can't remember. But it was a book from years ago. It, it, between the um, 1880s and oh, 1890s. Shit. Um, they don't in school. They do do it in school. What's, what books do you do in school? It wasn't To Kill a Mockingbird. No. And it wasn't Of Mice and Men. Jesus. Similar to that. It was, a, yeah. It was, it was an old book. Anyway. It, it was To Kill a Mockingbird. Between the, <laughs> the 1880s and oh, the 1890s. Uh, 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 Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie. Gee, and, really? Uh, yeah. Nobody ever did that in my school. Well, no, me either. <laughs> 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 what? It doesn't seem. I've never. Maybe it's not the school. They don't do it in school. school. Um, but, like, it just seemed like that. Too. Yeah. and uh, the, uh, um, It the, had racist language. It had, it? yeah, racist traits to it. And it was like, of course it does. Yeah. It was set in the 1800s. It was like of co- a, almost like a true story. It was like almost like an autobiography. Yeah, of course but, it had racist yeah. um, attributes to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Obviously, that's, it did because of the time, time that it was in. Doesn't mean and it has the to change now. Was used in that time is racist. So. And exactly, and a lot. And, and one thing that that humans are getting very comfortable is like erasing the, the past. As in, right, that was really bad. So that never happened. Let's overlook that. Let's brush past that. Yeah. You know, it's like no, it did happen. People were shit, but people changed. And if you yeah. learn from your mistakes, which we are very bad at doing, humans in general. But if you learn from your mistakes. I will in a sec. <laughs> and th- then it becomes okay. Do you know what? To, to repeat their mistakes, yeah. which we are very good at doing, um, then it gets really bad. And those little hints that I was dropping there was look at the state that America's in and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? With yeah. caging people and fucking concentration camps and this, that, and the other. You know, there's a massive, massive lesson learned there. Mm-hmm. And some people are just. Well, there's, I don't know, there's um, concentration camps right now in China for Muslims. Yeah. yeah and everybody knows about that. And but no one's doing anything about anything. it. It's never on the news. Like it's crazy. No. Well, of course not. Of course, it's not going to be on the news. You know, I mean, no one's going to be that oh, idiot. Look, this news is... company would put it up. Yes, yeah. they, they don't fun. want anyone to do anything about it. But then, in year in years to come, our oh, kids will learn. Our kids will learn about it in history. In history like, books and that. So, yeah, it'll be it. nobody acted. Nobody did anything. No one did anything because this was the time that we were living in. This, but no, yeah, everyone's yeah. too fucking scared to do anything. Because if you step out against, oh, we're going to start a war, or someone might say something, or I don't want to offend anyone. Fuck that. There's things like human rights. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You need to stand for them, not whether a salad emoji has a fucking egg in it so vegans don't get offended. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. There's people being killed left, right, yeah, and centre. Do so. Speak out about that. Do something. Don't be scared of offending everyone. Well, there's that whole thing. Like, did you see Trump uh, like shushing that fucking CNN guy? Uh, oh, when he was upstanding yeah. asking the questions. Yeah, and no, was like, I, he didn't him. didn't like the questions as he was asking them. So he just told him. Yes, to I did see. It. I don't want to speak to. You. I don't know why they've employed you. You're, you're yeah, that one. and then the next guy was like, "Well, see, to be fair, like he is quite good." And then he was like, "Actually, I don't like you either. Take the mic off that guy." Yeah, like what? So that's proper taking away like freedom of speech and like the whole what what reporters are for to like try and bring. Oh, the I saw truth what America was. prides itself on being built on a yeah. freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, yeah. Um, a freedom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. But yeah, freedom. The, the, you know it, that. That's so they they pride themselves on that, and you've got a fucking lunatic in charge that's depriving you all of that. But no, people have got enough to say. Like us, we are prime examples of it. We'll sit around on a podcast and we'll say, "There's this, 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 and this wrong with the world," but none of us do anything about it. Well, what and are that's, we gonna do? Like, yeah, but that's yeah. everyone's fault. That's, yeah, that's, that's a is, general consensus. But the it's the politicians that need to do something. They but they're not the, the people things. who think like that. No, they're not the people that sit and go, "You know what? All this is going wrong at the moment. Oof, we should probably do something about they it." Got you know got what I mean? Revolutionaries who are seen as 
uh, really bad people because they're going against the social norm. And then you're like, well. Speaking about this, look, Pert Russell Brand, I love that guy. Yeah. He's someone who is in a sort of position, not a position of power, but a position. He's, he's, got, he's got a status. He's, you know, he's yeah, got a platform. He's, um, and he uses that. Well. He does. He uses it. Should we get him on? Should we get him on the podcast? Yeah, sure. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give him a ring next week. Uh, uh, should I tweet him? Um, I mean, it's up to you. He's definitely not going to come here. And I'd be a bit embarrassed bringing him into my room. Now nah, we'll clean it. I'm going to tweet him right now. What? As if as if he's not got a recording studio, he would rather take us <laughs> recording. Yeah, fair. Rush, do you want to be on our podcast? Can we come to yours and do it though? Sleepover. <laughs> Sleepover. <laughs> Imagine that. It's just that they're like LA to record a podcast. Imagine that. Around. Yeah, Russell Brand has a podcast. He does have a podcast, and it's a very good one. I but he would just get us on his podcast. Well, he wouldn't. He's not going to do either of these things. Well, do you know? I think the people that listen to our podcast are the niche uh, listeners that Russell Brand's been looking for. So I think a merger is due. Yeah. So if all our four of our listeners start listening <laughs> to his, all of his four million listeners. Yeah. I mean, that's a recipe. Put that two together, you get. Everybody wins. And four people. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. But no, my point being Except is that I, I like I like Russell Brand and listeners. the fact that he uses his platform to speak out against things that are wrong with the world. You know what? Some of it's a little bit controversial. I mean, a few months ago we told everyone not to vote and stuff like that, and then woke up one morning and was like, you know what? Vote Labour. Um, so that <laughs> <laughs> that's the that was the worst part. Of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. It, He's got a lot, he speaks a lot of sense, a lot, mm. and I like the fact that he actively speaks, he's got an opinion, and he does offend people with what he says, but he doesn't really care about it, yeah. because it's his opinion. He believes what he believes. Yeah, he believes, and he, yeah. he's unapologetically himself, and I like that, I feel like we lack that a lot in this yeah. day and age, you yeah, know what I mean? difficult. Fair point, well made. Jimbo. Barbara. <laughs> uh, I don't know it. what that is. It's a... Uh, royal family. Royal family. Oh. It, but it's, I always thought it was the royal family. It's the royal family. Yeah, R O Y L E. Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Not really, actually, at all. No, no it's a different. Word. <laughs> yeah, that's it's actually ridiculous. Different word. Scratch yeah. that. Oh, we lost a listener. Boom. Um, sorry, can I just uh, ask these man if I have a cig? Sorry, mum, if you're watching. No, I don't mind. Oh, wow, cigs, nice. mate. You work away. You Cheers. smoke. Um, should we need? Do we need to open that door then? Yeah, there's yeah. a shock on the smoke alarm. There's not. No, there isn't. No, well, there's not. No, no there way. isn't. Why no, would there, there be? <sighs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I bought loads of books. See, they're up there. I bought. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? I'm gonna show you his loads of books. No, there's an RT up there. There's five books. Yeah, there's he five books. Loads of books. He yeah, it's a, a library. It's a motherfucking <laughs> library. Look. Chris, when can you start lending them to us? 40, whenever you want, because I've never read them. <laughs> Since first oh, first but year. they'll all be um, they'll all be Irish plays. Well, yeah, most of them. Uh, I've got one man, two governors. Never read it. You've got Port as well. I noticed got before. Port. Yeah, and I've got uh, uh, a night in November, stones in his pockets, shadow of a gunman, Juno, Juno and the Peacock, and the Plow Our Stars. Irish That's, plays. Yeah, yeah. The best kind of place. If you're Irish. No, for any man. Night November, uh, obviously set in Belfast by Belfast people. Belfast people. <laughs> Irish. I get that, but it went on Broadway. <laughs> well, off Broadway. Well, yeah, well, like I could, I'd enjoy watching it. Yeah, but like, exactly. uh, I like plays that I could be in. No, well, yeah, yourself is just like me. <laughs> you just want to in this, laddies. <clears throat> of course. But we were doing a film in this week for uni and I was having a whale of a time, you know? Yeah. Genuinely, I, I absolutely loved that. So, so you had like, we have all marks and stuff that you have to hit when you walk in places. Are you laughing at me? No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can okay. you go? I, it's, there's a thing in that top drawer. Um, that but yeah, so you have these all marks on the floor and then the director says action and you waltz on and you hit your mark and it's like, hey, no, I did it. Like that. An ice tray, there's an ice tray in there, can I have that? It's like fucking the Barney bag, he's coming in there. No. <laughs> like Mary fucking Poppins. Hey. Oh, Mary Poppins returns. This Christmas. It's not already out. No, 21st. I'm sure the premiere was like... Yeah, the premiere was on Twitter. Oh. Mary's different. Um, something. Luke's banged his knee again. Bang me knee. I'm always banging me knee. I'm my feet at the chairs in this house. Terrible, aren't they? Yeah, they are awful. You walk past them when you trip over Apparently, them. you were really good at doing essays on those Irish plays. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, we had to we had to do essays on them, but like it was so it was weird because we it was for A levels. Okay. So what we did was you did the same essays every year. So the years before you and before you did these essays. We were speaking about this yeah. the other day, and you and your friend in school was his name, Kieran. Yeah, Kieran McCord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so excited! Yes, Kieran McCord. Yeah, right. uh, yeah. He um, what do you call it? We used to get last year's students' uh, essays, essays and edit them. Edit them. And then it's weird them. how you knew that story before we'd even told it. And, and then learn them for our, like, uh, what do you call it? The essay that you had to do in, under exam conditions. Yeah. Thanks for that prompt. That was, um, that was good. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Did you have to do like essays for when you said? I did a lot of B text, mate. I did posters mostly. Suit you. I can just imagine yeah. you, your school bag, all those ends of box of crayons. <laughs> and he's eating half the packet. <laughs> Load of Crayola half bit. I think I'm being sued, guys. Why? Twistables. You ever had them twistable uh, crayons? They were good. Yeah. Other ones that you shove the. You, you have one crayon, but you shoved other crayons in there. <laughs> you I never, I didn't know that. Jesus. One crayon, and you shoved other crayons in the ass end. Do we need to have a talk about what happened <laughs> in your school? I don't know. Do you need to talk about the parts of the date? No. Listen, so you had, no, always you had, loved multicolour pens. You, you had one Definitely. crayon, like one or crayon. Uh, you've got to know what I'm talking about. Um, one cra- <laughs> And you would push in um, other coloured like little tips of crayons into it. And it would make the other crayon come you gotta, out. You got to stop doing all, all oh, things like on, this. You got to grow up. <laughs> Is it twistable? <laughs> You're no. full on being like, oh, no, just the, just so the it tip. Would be, it would be a clear, a clear cylinder, like a yeah. pen-shaped thing. And you would, there'd be little, so green, red, blue, orange, yellow. and you would Colours. Put, yeah. So you would pull one out the bottom and push it in the top and then the next colour would come yeah. out. Oh, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Oh, no, mate, on the yeah. same page. It took you long enough. Like, yeah, I didn't no. know. It took me this long enough. wasn't doing no one. No, that was not working. No, not at all. Do you ever go to the the bin to shot your pencils? Just chat to your mate. Yeah, I used to chat with birds. That that was like Pit birds that were like eight. That Obviously, was... I was eight. Um, you have a message. Doesn't matter. He's just topped it by saying that. <laughs> um, to let it linger. <laughs> I was joking because no one. Had... Sorry. Matter. Um, where do we go now? Air banger. Go now. Tune. Uh, do you know that's how they actually got that in the song? What? They wrote like the first part of Sweet Child of Mine and then they reached the point and they were like they didn't know what to do. Where so do we they just started now? singing Where Do We Go Now? And that oh, was fair one would make sense. Yeah. yeah. And that's why it's in the song. It's a tune yeah. like. Um I really like uh because I watched it again, the Step Brothers bit. So good. Drama students. No, no. Right, well, I think we'll call it a day there. I think we will call it a day. Oh. Thank you very much. We're calling it a day there, ladies and gentlemen. To all of our lovely listeners. Yep. Thank you, as always. As um, usual. <laughs> well, see you around. Later. See you later, you bunch of bastards. You thought you were watching that. <laughs>